Hello, Heart of Mary. I hope you're all well. This is called The Old Violin, and it's written by Robert Fields. Twas battered, scarred, and the auctioneer thought it was scarcely worth its while to waste his time on the old violin, but held it up with a smile. What am I bidden, good people, he cried. Who'll start the bidding for me? A dollar, a dollar, now two, only two, two dollars, and who makes three? Three dollars once, three dollars twice, going for three, but no. From the back of the room, a gray-haired man came forward and picked the bow. Then wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening up the strings, he played a melody pure and sweet, as sweet as an angel sings. The music ceased and the auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, what am I bid for the old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars, and who will make it two? Two thousand, and who will make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice, and going, going, gone, said he. The people cheered, but some of them cried. We don't quite understand. What changed its worth, swift came the reply, the touch of the master's hand. And many a man with life out of tune and battered and torn with sin is auctioned cheap to the thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He is going once and going twice. He's going and almost gone. But the master comes and the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that's wrought by the touch of the master's hand. Psalms chapter 145 verses 8 and 9. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in love. The Lord is good to all, compassionate to every creature. Our self-worth can mean everything to us living out our days in holiness. We are all sinners and we will all sin. We are broken people and choose bad decisions in that brokenness. I know that I have not lived up to my potential because of my self-worth, the way I felt about myself for so many years. I know that God loves me. I read it in the scriptures all the time. I hear it at Holy Mass often. I know that he loves me with all his heart, and that is where I can start building my worth, the way that I feel about myself, so I can continue to do the beautiful work that he has planned for me. Set yourself free, brothers and sisters. Give it all to God. Lift it to him and let him take it from you this day. Whatever you are feeling about yourself that makes you feel bad, whether it's something about how you look or the clothes that you wear or the, the lack of funds in your bank account or maybe the overabundance of funds in your bank account, trust that God is in love with you and he will never stop loving you. He sees your worth. He knows your heart. He knows it better than anyone else. He knows it better than you know yourself. We may be battered and broken, but God sees us as something complete and whole. He loves us like that violin. He loves us like we are his masterpiece because we are. Have a great day. Bye everyone.